Hi, Brian McAvoy with InsideOutTrading.com here, and on YouTube I'm known as Trader Brian. Uh, today um, I decided to post this video. I did get some feedback on the first one, and if you haven't watched it, go ahead and uh, check it out. But anyway, as far as the you know trading systems, as far you know not getting duped, and being able to filter through the BS, there is another part to the problem that I didn't cover in the first video, and I do in this one. And here's the problem. I had a, another reader send me in an email, and here was what here was his comment: "says Your video was very good. However, what you did not explain was how to get a system to test without paying the purchase price. Being able to test the system before purchasing would be the best way to ascertain whether the system is worth the money. Now that's true, but it just doesn't happen hardly at all on the internet, uh, where you know you can get something to test out for a while uh, before buying it. I mean, you know, uh, certain software applications you can, but with trading systems, generally not." Um, so, you know, with that in mind, okay, so what's the solution? Well, the solution is before you buy it, uh, first thing you want to look for is do they have a guarantee? If, if they don't have a guarantee, really think twice about getting it. Uh, I mean, just that, that makes sense. Uh, as far as a guarantee, you want to have at least a 30-day guarantee on it, preferably 60 days or more. And, uh, you know, are they giving you good information? Uh, or just a bunch of hype. They, they need to be giving you enough information that you can make a you know reasonably informed uh, you know decision, and not just a bunch of hype. If they're just flashing a you know a bunch of pictures up there, mansions and piles of cash and fancy cars and all that kind of stuff, if they're just you know pushing your emotional buttons, that's a huge red flag. Make sure they've got good information on the page. Um, the next thing is you know are they available for support? Uh, if there's no name on the page. Oh, big red flag. If it's only an email or you know a support desk, that's okay. I ideally, they'll have you know a name, uh, an address, a phone number, and a, a phone number or an email. But you know you want to have uh, you know reasonable contact information so you know that you're dealing with a real person in a real business. And the contact information is a good sign right there. If it's not there, big red flag. I I would probably not get it if there's no contact information, at least no name. Now your end of the deal is, you know, is what you're looking at is it with the, you know is it aligned with what you're uh, what you've chosen for the direction that you want to go anyway? If you're a futures trader and you know you've established yourself pretty well, or a stock trader and, and you know you've heard that you know there's a lot of money being made in forex, really rethink your decision. Uh, that's where a lot of people run into to trouble. I get calls on a regular basis uh, and emails, you know, where that's what people have done and it's really messed them up. You know, forex has its allure, but uh, you know, if 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 it's not broke, don't fix it. If what you got is working, don't go you know changing horses in the middle of the race. Um, so uh, you know, and and make sure that you know you really do. Uh, you know, like I said, it, what you're what you're looking to do is really within reason and you know aligned with where you're going anyway. Uh, that's that's your end of the deal. Now, what to do with it? Let's say you know everything that I, that I just listed checks out. And you decide to go ahead and get it. Once you have it in hand, you want to first immediately go ahead and test it. Preferably do some back testing. Uh, ideally, also go ahead and you know get it, jump into your demo account. Don't trade it with live money yet, but jump into your demo account and try, test it out for a few weeks. See how well it does. Now, the main thing is you want to review the back testing experience or your, your, your demo account trading. And what you're looking for is you know. Does this does the system test well? Can you trade it well and comfortably? Uh, or are you seeing you know you've got a lot of questions? There are some gray areas, some things that aren't very clear. Um, you know maybe uh, some stuff where you know the decision points are very subjective, or you know they're just not covered. Uh, that's an issue. Uh, if it trades well and you know you're comfortable with it, uh, you know you like it. Then you want to evaluate the results. Is are the results better than what you've benchmarked? What you you know what you currently have? Is it better? Is it a step forward from where you are now? Uh, but you're only going to find that by evaluating the results. And no, I don't mean the results. Did it make money? Uh, three weeks or back testing. You know that's that's kind of iffy as far as you know. If only you're looking at you know, if, or if you're only looking at making money, then that's kind of iffy. You want to look at the other metrics because you need to know. You know how things uh, how things line up. The, the metrics tell you what makes the bottom line. So now, then you have the question. You know, do you keep it or not? Now, here's where again, it's it's your responsibility to do what's right. If they gave you decent information on the page, you know they've got support. They answered your questions. 
um, and you know they're really to deliver on what they promised you, then don't ask for a refund, even if you choose not to use it, you know, because that really wouldn't be right. You know, they gave you good information, they didn't hide anything, you made a decision to get it, fine. Uh, if they didn't deliver on the promise, though, if you know uh, it, it didn't, it, like I said, if it, if you know what they promised you just wasn't fulfilled, um, then. Yeah, you know, then it's fair for you to ask for a refund because they didn't deliver on what they promised. So, but the main thing is, you know, act with integrity, and you know, if you made a decision to go ahead and go with it, if if uh, if you got value out of it, if they delivered on a promise, then fine, you know, let it be. If not, you know, get a refund because that's that's fair. Now, quick review on what you want to look for: the metrics that are going to you know tell you if this system is worth pursuing or not, and and you know moving forward with. You want to look at the winning percentage coupled with the profit to loss ratio. Do not only look at the winning percentage. Uh, that is really irrelevant. Uh, you know, 90% winners doesn't mean anything if if one you know that one out of 10 losers wipes you out. So the profit to loss ratio has to be there along with the winning percentage, your average return per trade, so that you, you can look forward to things. Uh, the maximum drawdown. This one's really huge when you're doing the testing and you run the metrics because. If the system's good and it makes money and all that kind of stuff, but it will experience drawdowns that you just really have a hard time stomaching and you know uh, working through, then it probably isn't a system for you. If it's too far outside your comfort zones, it's going to mess you up. Now, the real re reward to risk. This is another one. This is a big gray area for a lot of people. You know, how do I how do I know what the real reward is on you know a given trade? Um, by running the metrics, you can find out what the real reward to risk is. On you know the winners, the losers, and overall, very valuable information to know. Uh, and of course, your return on information, I mean, your return on investment, and the other metrics. Uh, I mean, you, these are the things that you need to have in hand. Now, you've heard the phrase, you know, friends don't let friends drive drunk. Uh, well, the reason that I'm making these videos and I've put together the resources I have is, you know, I'm looking out for you. Trading can be great. Or it can just really, you know, wreak havoc on your whole life. And I, I feel that, you know, I, it's part of my duty, uh, you know, in looking out for you as somebody that cares about you, you know, to impress upon you to, you know, do these things. Do your, you know, when you're when you're buying something, and with your trading in general, you know, these are the things that you need to do. Uh, the, the, you know, analyzing your your trading system and getting the metrics is just so huge. I, I feel I'd be remiss if I didn't, you know, do my best to impress upon you the importance of doing it. So. Uh, because it's not a game, uh, you know, it's your money, it's real money, and there's a lot at stake. So, go ahead and go to InsideOutTrading.com forward slash TPA, and uh, you know, get the trading performance analyzer, or at least take a look at it, and you'll see that yes, this is the information that you really do need to make good, informed business decisions that will keep you moving forward and not backward. And when you go to the page, you'll see that yes, I show you everything, uh, everything. How to use the sheets, what's involved, you know, what you need to, to do, what the information that you get out of it, uh, everything's there. Um, and you know, last thing is, you know, do share this video with your friends. Um, if you know of other people that are trading or thinking about getting into trading, you know, this is really good, uh, helpful information. Uh, like I said, I'm just looking out for you. Uh, I want you to enjoy trading and get the most out of it. I want it to be, you know, a plus in your life. So. Uh, and and you know let's do the same thing you know pay, pay it forward with your friends uh, if you know like I said you know of other people share this video with them tell them to come check it out uh, it's worth a few minutes so again uh, Brian McAvoy with InsideOutTrading.com on YouTube I'm known as Trader Brian cheers.